Oh, always something. Hey, how's it? Welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. How are you? Yeah, my name's Andy Bumatai, and welcome. Yep, yeah, let's check out, see if we're actually live here. Oh, wait a minute, something's going on. I'm still hosting OG Sumo Live Show. I don't know what's going on there. Thought I was live. Oh, there I am. I'm back again. Okay. I don't know what's going on there. Thought there I we was go. live. Oh, I heard myself. So <clears throat> I think I'm there. Yeah, we host OG Sumo Vibes show um, from about 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. before I come on. And um, for those of you who are just tuning in, which is most people, we will be rating OG Sumo Vibe after this show. He does his show, raids me, and on Sundays, we raid him back. Mutual Admiration Society in full bloom there. How's it, Miles? <clears throat> How are you? Hey, we get Brian coming in from Winnipeg. Um, and there's Love Pat Pat. Papi Cheney, goof morning, gang. Woo, how's it? Very happy Sunday to you all. Yes. I think it's going to be a pretty good Sunday. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Second day of my brand new coffee maker that you set up the night before. And then it starts brewing at 5 a.m. How perfect is that? So I get up, do my pre-production. One less thing I have to do in the morning. Mahalo to my lovely wife. Always thinking, how's it, Rick? Aloha to me and the Hammer Jang Gang from Rick S. Tanks. Hey, you bugger. There we go. Let's see what else we got going on today. Oh, we have a few, uh, a, a few new tricks. Um, I'll be mentioning this as, as people uh, slowly come on, but um, I added some, um, I don't know what you call them. Uh, triggers, I think they're called, where you guys can type stuff and make emotes happen on the screen. Oh, hey. oh here comes <laughs> OG Sumo Vibe with 21 people. Watch out, here comes the raid. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know Medium 7 up here. Wow, auto coffee machine. Could never figure out how to program that thing. Well, <laughs> Yeah, a little computer experience helps. Mahalo, OG Sumo Vibe for the raid coming over. And also, Mahalo for the jump start series. Um, I was hosting your show on this channel from about 5 a.m. Yeah, uh, digging, the, digging the vibes. We call it the jump start. And I got to tell you, that bugger is uh, instrumental into getting the... The heart going. Hey, how's it, Gary Brown? How's it, Photo Luke? Morning, Gengi. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. You guys got to click. Yeah, there you go. Gary Brown hosting the show. Mahalo, Photo Luke. Michelle in the house coming over. And there's Rick Hirikawa coming in from the OG Sumo Live side. How's it, Nancy? Nancy Nakamura, our party starter. And look at Blazing Jake Yoga. Oh, me now, the new avatar baby. Oh, proud of the baby, yeah? That's right. Aloha, Pat Pat saying good morning to Pokole T. Yes, Al, let's see if I can... Okay, how's it? <clears throat> Kulika. Aloha, Kakahiaka. Okay, there's Sandra R. in the house from Kalihi. Yes, how? Oh, right there, Cindy Kraus. Good morning, Andy and Gengi. How's it? R.M. Uh, Fumarola. Fumara... Fumara... Fuma... Ro, Fumarola. Oh, R.M. Fumarola. How's it? Oh, oh, look at, oh, sorry. Look here, I'm acknowledging a bot that wants to sell us something. Look, here's another one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Ah, ku aloha, my avatar crush in the hale. Aloha noe, kawahine hayu. Oh, brother Bruce, what's up? Okay, let's see and if I miss anybody. Sandra, third, I'm trying to keep up, man, the chat. More and more every day, right? I know, brother Bruce. Oh, there's Yamamoto-san. How's it? Howly boy, Brandon. Aloha no. 
Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, searching for the people who come on that I have not acknowledged. There's Big Squirrel Nuts, one of the most popular <clears throat> Twitch names on the planet. Everywhere he goes, what? What a name. Oh, Nick, uh, Nikki, how's it? There we go. Let's see who else we got. Oh, Darlene, I think I acknowledged you, but hey, gotta make sure. I know, right there. Okay, OG Sumo Vibe, my pleasure, my brother. Please remember to refresh your screen so we have fun with Andy on today's polls. Mahalo. Yeah, if you don't refresh the <clears throat> the screen, hey, what's happening? Oh, somebody uh, figured out the uh, the uh, the triggers. I don't know. I think that's what you call them. I'm not sure. Yeah, I added some new ones, you guys. Uh, you can type. Um, um, exclamation point uh, shaka uh, right you guys can try that if you like and, and by the way it has to be a capital S for some reason it's case sensitive and then we, and then a shaka will end up uh, right over here oh also um, I also added um, oh yeah the habut the habut baby there somebody tried the habut <laughs> let me get to the bottom of the chat here i hope oh, cindy cross how are you if i'm seeing people if i miss your uh uh your your comment um i apologize yeah there's steve yosh hey Pualani. aloha how are you yeah see uh, gary tried the habut one. Oh, there's the shaka okay and i also did um love sad and uh lol yeah those are the those are the ones i have so far okay yep see i see that's that's how that's the uh oh, oh oh you didn't have to make the capital s i thought it had to be capitalized see and and there's the habut oh hey look there's love someone tried the love you see and oh huh oh yeah <laughs> Hey, well, well, I guess you guys can f see them somewhere, right? Because I never mentioned the, ha, huh? but uh, someone suggested that I make one, ha. Huh? So in case, you know, something goes on here and you guys are wondering, what the heck is that, Tina, Ko or, uh, Tina Rose Cager? Aloha, how are you? And then, oh, oh Rick, you would figure out the, ha. Huh? Oh, I guess you don't have to capitalize it. I don't know. I've... Again, I was I was just goofing with this yesterday, so and, you know, whoo, what is this? Commands, what does that do, brother Bruce? You guys better at this than me, I, I think. <laughs> you know, uh, but I still haven't figured out, uh, you know, how to do. Yeah, ah, yeah, that one. But uh, I'm working on it. Who we quick, ah? Huh? Yeah, I think so. I know. I know. The, the hammer does not work, uh, Gary. I'm still working on that one. I'm trying to figure out something else. The uh, uh, people on the other Twitch sites can do it because uh, they're using OBS. I know. Huh? <laughs> oh, look, and that's, that, that, that's not capitalized. I thought it was case sensitive. I guess it's not. I know. There we go. Hey, hey, <laughs> oh, Mahalo, I commands. Look, my brother, proud of you, man. Who you learning? Yeah, trying. Hey, oh, uh, OG, you use OBS, right? Um, do you use OBS? I commands. And what does that do when you type I commands? Does it give you a, a choice of it? Oh, look at that one. The hand never work. I know. How come the hand never was cut off by something. Oh, I think it's cut off by uh, when somebody make the kind. Anyway, that's in Nakamura. I need to subscribe though. Oh, okay, that would be great. Hey, how's it, Paul Mendoza? Yeah, if you can subscribe, that would be nice. Appreciate it, always help, right? I know, later on, uh, you know, we're gonna make, uh, I'm, I, again, that's the second stage. Um, you know, and as we go into next year, I, I really want to um, add more 
fun things for everyone to do. But until then, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Okay, looks like pretty much... Oh, sorry. I broke the hand. <laughs> no, you know what it is? I think it's when, when, when there's a comment like this, it, it cuts off... Oh, no, look. It doesn't cut off the, the Habut baby. Yes. Somebody try to hand again, and I'm going to put a comment up and see if, uh, you know, and see if... Uh, if it happens, whoo, okay, there's her boot baby, but, oh yeah, look here, see. And and when you type uh, commands like that, do you guys see the, uh, a menu or something? <laughs> oh yeah, look, hey. Oh, the hand, the hand, never, okay, wait a minute. I know, I think I know what it is. Let me see. Oh wait, I gotta turn off with this and this, and then I do this. There. Maybe that's better. I think so. Anyway, still learning. We can play with that for a little bit today. But meanwhile, even though we, we normally wait till the uh, quarter after the hour, I think we should start the show now because I like to do the, the, uh, the reggae one. We haven't done that one in a while. Here we go. That's too funny, Papi Cheney. New access to the emotes is like getting a new toy. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, and that's what I'm working on to see how many of these new toys we can add because I want to be able, you know, for you guys to do all kinds. Okay, uh, and we'd like to remind you, gang, that after this show, uh, we will be raiding OG Sumo Vibe back. He's got some uh, Jawaiian jams for us afterwards. Always a good time over there, so uh, stay tuned for the raid after this show, right? Speaking of the man right there, hey, brother Bruce, yeah, only works for OBS, but it's a, th uh, it's the thought that counts. Brother, what did brother Bruce uh, say? Um, some new access. Ooh, Steve Yos, how's it? Yeah, uh, the uh, the OBS has some features that. Oh, hey, mahalo, Nancy Nakamura. Thanks for the 200 biddies. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Y yeah, OBS can do some stuff um, that I'm on Ecamm Live, but Ecamm Live does some stuff that I did the research before I chose. So, um, you know, anyway, first poll, guys, let's get started. What do you say? Ah, yeah, I know. Hey, for the look, mahalo for the 100 biddies. Thanks, ah. Supporting a daily pigeon live. That's how. Okay, this poll you can choose more than one. Every time you do, it uh, uses a hundred Hamajang gang points. If you want to vote a second and third and fourth time, whatever. Okay. So uh, just as a conversation starter, which of these words are you tired of hearing during shows? Not just this show, but any show or commercials or anything, right? Cindy Krause, thanks half out of 100 bits. Okay, let's start the poll. Which of these words are you tired of hearing during shows? Now, you can 
choose more than one, okay? So this is one of those polls where you just eh, pick the ones you're tired of hearing, okay? David Oss, mahalo for the 100 bitties. Thank you. Huh, literally, <laughs> yes. I heard a politician the other day on stage in front of a crowd saying, okay, um, I don't have a lot of time, so I literally want to take two seconds to tell you, and then he went on to, into a speech. And I wanted to say, this guy is in Congress, and he says literally two seconds, and then speaks for, you know, five minutes. I, I, I was like, wow. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that they understand what the word means. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, I know that's the one. Awesome. That's another one. Oh, I used to do a bit in my act about awesome. I said, you know, uh, awesome is like I said. I was at, I was at somewhere, some uh, yeah, I, exactly. And I was, I was somewhere at a f some some restaurant or something, and somebody said, uh, could I get another straw? And then the waitress uh, brought him a straw, and he looked at the straw and he went, awesome. And I was thinking to myself, man, if uh, you think a straw is awesome, do not go to the Grand Canyon or you may spontaneously come bust. <laughs> oh. I mean, you know, it's like awesome. It's like what? Now hold on. What does this here? Literally had a literally had a new meaning. It means not literally. What? Oh, oh, hey, mahalo for the biddies, uh, uh, C Honda. Thank you, and I don't know if I say good morning to you. M m good morning, and again, thanks for all those wonderful comments on the um, on the reruns where you post a little synopsis of the show. And uh, by the way, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to talk C uh, Honda into being a moderator. I don't really know how to do that, <laughs> you know, how to make someone a moderator. But I was thinking, you know, um, uh, Nani Aloha and C Honda do so much for the channel you know w without getting any hey mahalo ass so uh, if you guys seriously if you're interested in being moderators um maybe the first order of business would be to educate me on how you become a moderator <laughs> i know oh boss for matt oh andy i know i just you know ah uh, Andy, I'm just joking. Lots of kids these days say literally, and they do not mean literally. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I was watching a, 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 a um, <clears throat> you know, a YouTube video, and and this this wasn't a kid. Now this guy was in his 30s, and he said, "I literally died laughing." Oh, it was so funny. You you literally died laughing? It's a woman. Oh. Somebody called 911 or the morgue. Hey, every time I hear someone say honestly, probably here comes something that's not true. <laughs> so true. Literally and seriously. Ugh. Also, when ordering food, people say, I'll do this or that. Oh, my goodness. How do you do food? I think I'll do the hamburger. <laughs> I know that's that one that kills me. My my daughter always says, "Oh yeah, huh?" <laughs> yeah, which which is yeah, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, I hear people say that one, yeah, right. You know what? You know what else bugs me too? I don't know if you if, if this drives you nuts. Hey, how's that little music in the house? Is when you tell somebody something and then they say correct. You know. It's like they go, hey, um, you know, um, it, are there diesel trucks? And you go, yes, there are diesel trucks. And they say, correct. Okay. Well, what do you mean correct? You asked me and then you tell me it's correct. <laughs> I know. Correct. 
or somebody or you're telling somebody something con and they're constantly going correct 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 like what is this, a test? I know. Andy, uh, the one I have a hard time with is no worries. No worries. I, I say no worries. I go, no worry, beef curry. But that's, in other words, uh, uh, how, how, how would that, uh, can you give me uh, how that would be used, uh, Rick Hirakawa, where it kind of bugs you? Yeah. Huh? Oh, look, see, see, now look, the, the hang kind of don't fit over there. I don't know why. Maybe I gotta make them more small. See how the the corner of the H is. Anyway, um, who? What is the medical diagnosis for owning too many dogs? Rover dose. <laughs> well, then I went rover dose a couple times. Oh, what comic was that that said you might be a redneck if the porch collapses and more than four dogs are hurt? One granddaughter likes saying, yeah, no, all the time. <laughs> well, that's very pigeon, you know. Yeah, no, I think. Oh, hey, look at that emote of the uh, little Chinese food takeout there. Lono, Ooh, good morning. Ah, good morning, Lono music. That's from Michelle right there. Ooh, aloha, gangi. Hey, you, you saw the habut one, uh, aloha, smitty. If you type uh, habut, I mean exclamation habut, we'll see your uh, grandbaby there. Oh. <laughs> That's one of my favorite pictures ever. Oh, Lono, so far, number, oh, what is that? Four or is that? No, it's not six. That's four, right? Is my favorite. Sick. I know. <laughs> Look, uh, which words do you are tired of hearing during shows? Uh, yeah, people that do that a lot, you know. And there are people on on major news channels and stuff. Who, um, and then I um came down and uh I wanna uh, you know it's funny because you know how when we t uh, Americans tease Canadians and they say a after everything. Oh, you're looking good, eh? Well, what do you say we go get something to eat, eh? Right? When people tease Americans and the American accent, they use a uh, a lot. I know. Oh, sorry, love, Pat Pat. The hammer, uh, I, I didn't, I couldn't get it working, so I just eliminated it. Wife, stop being an idiot. Just be yourself, me. Make up your mind. Ah, stop being, just be a moment, make up your mind. I have said this before, but my pet peeve is, does that make sense? I want to say, I don't know. You're the one that said it. Did it make sense to you? Okay, uh, Oji Sumo, uh, I don't know if, uh, if you've ever been to sales school, okay? Uh, that's called a trial close in sales. Okay, I mentioned this before. If you're trying to sell something to somebody, you do what they call trial closing. Closing is when you ask for the sale. You know, if I'm trying to sell you a car, I would the the absolute close is. So, do you want to buy this car, OG? Right. But as I'm trying to sell it to you, there's a sales technique that if you can get somebody to say yes to. I forget what the number is. It's like 42 or, or something like that. If you can get somebody to say yes 42 times as you're making the presentation, it's they get used to saying yes, and it's easier to say yes to the final close. So there are what they call trial closes throughout the whole process. So I, um, like you go, um, hi, how are you, sir? So um, that's a nice color, isn't it? Oh, yes, one. Yeah, I know. And look at the tires on this. You know, they're a lot bigger now nowadays. You know, um, do you like big tires? Oh, yes. Right. You know, and the thing about it is these cars come with automatic braking systems. So you never get caught where you might rear end somebody. And it's and it's included. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Right. But then some people um, overuse one of the trial closes or they or, or they don't even realize they're doing it yeah but you'll notice people who try to sell you stuff will say does that make sense 
right? Okay. Oh, here, the poll is over, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, 45% of the people who took this. And again, you could vote more than once, right, on this one. That's number one. Number two, literally, that's 32% of people hear that. And sick, that was 11%. Awesome, 7%. Thought that would do much bigger, okay? And dude, <laughs> that was on the bottom. Yeah, okay. Now, I wonder why every once in a while the hair is cut off like that. Ah, the geek in me. I have to fix that. You know, I'll take some time. D does that make sense? Okay, great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you just went. Oh, Paul, oh, I know. Hold on, Gary. Hold on. Uh, busted. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We have the LOL, you know. I don't think, has anyone tried that? Exclamation, LOL. <clears throat> Try that one. Okay. Ah, see, look, sometimes it's cut off a little bit. Sometimes it's not. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I know what it, I know what it is. I know what it is. There's the LOL. <clears throat> Thank you, Thomas the Turtle. I know what it is. I can fix that. There, there was a, there was a, uh, a choice when you, when, the, when the thing comes up that you can have it in a fixed position or you can have it in a random position. And I think I forgot to unclick random position. So when the, uh, s sorry. <laughs> that, that's what that is. See, I know. Okay, anyway, we have to start the day, um, it being Sunday with our, um, with our, uh, oh, oh no, wait. Oh, duh, sorry. I was, I, I queued up what I thought was Sandy's and I think it's Sunday. That's the one I want. Wait, let's see if I can find it. Oh man. Oh, here. Ha. Ah. Yeah. Okay. This is the, this is the video we, we only play on Sundays because it's, uh, uh, it's a little, uh, gospel. Here we go. Wash me in the water Cleanse me in the mercy of your love I need a heavenly touch Cause I'll be backsliding I need a little guiding for my soul Only heaven Cause I just need Oh, a helping hand It's gonna help me stand It's gonna help me stand Cause I just need Oh, a helping hand It's gonna help me stand It's gonna help me stand That I'm just wandering on my own So I hit my knees And I'm crying now, please Oh Lord, won't you bring me back home? Yeah I Wash me in the water Cleanse me in the mud
Yeah, I just love your guys' humor. <laughs> awesome dude. <laughs> After he said, does that make sense? Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, too funny. Oh, my God. Okay, so <laughs> let's go to the next poll here. Um, and this one, again, is you can, you can vote more than once on this, okay? Um, and it's, what are you doing more, what are you doing more of while staying home more? Okay, let's start that poll. And again, you can choose more than once. What are you doing more of? Okay. <laughs> awesome, dude. <laughs> Ah, oh, we have to listen to ourselves now. Not sure. I might say some of those "use guys drive me crazy" might be an Italian thing. I might say some of those. I might say some of these. "Use guys drive me crazy." Use guys. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's too funny. Ah, oh, <laughs> Sandra Gully, yes. Right on and cool will never die. You know, I know, I, I, start, I think of some of the stuff. Um, I mean, mine, oh, 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 I'll hear Blazing Jake Yoga, changing diapers. Whoo, okay, I need to, are you, are you uh, utilizing the three breath method? <gasps> I know, <laughs> well, I know. And it's funny how you can change your own kid's diaper and it doesn't gross you out as much as if you try to change somebody else's kid's diaper. I don't know why that is. I know. Ooh. <laughs> Listening to Andy. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, more creative work ideas. Different sales. There you go. That's how Aloha Mish make it work, you know. And, you, and if you listen to enough of uh, what we talk about here, you can... Learn how to trial clothes. <clears throat> and don't you think this would look good on you? Oh, yes. I don't know what exactly it is you're selling. Aloha, Mish. What is it? Is there, a, is there something we can take a look at? And maybe, uh, you know, the Hama Jang gang might be interested. You know, we mentioned Tina Rose Cager before. And, you know, um, um, Danny Settle has the uh, garlic salts, right? I know. I use cool way too much me too cool <laughs> yeah <clears throat> and i say man a lot too i realize you know whoa man that's cool <laughs> i don't know uh yeah i guess uh and it's funny how i guess within with, within certain uh, generational uh, ages you know uh you don't you almost don't hear cool you know as something that that is um a slang you know whoa cool you know but the kids are starting to say cool again too so i don't know certain ones will i guess uh in norcal they overused uh hella who can oh yeah oh it's hella cool oh man the thing is hella big yep and it's interesting too you know um Basically, they're um, replacing adjectives, right? Adjective, adjective, adjective. Oh, you know, that's, that's what's happening there. Hey, how's that, Brian? Is that something you would be interested in? There you go. That's another trial close. You know, and, it's in, you know, and what is interesting, Brian, is if you're hip to trial closing, and you go in to, and talk to somebody who's trying to sell you something, it, it just becomes so obvious, you know? And especially if the, um, and, and here's another, here's another uh, uh, sales technique thing. I feel like, you know, I'm outing a magician. This is how they do the trick, you know? But um, is, um, if you, let's say, is this something you would be interested in? If you say, if you don't say yes, and you say maybe, they'll say, why is that, right? And, and this will help you, by the way, if you're ever in an argument or you're or dealing with somebody difficult. 
to take control of a conversation, you ask questions, right? So salespeople will do that. Well, you know, and this thing has ABS. Does that make sense? Well, I guess so, but it depends. Well, depends on what? <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> you know, it's interesting, and I think I've mentioned this before. Um, you know, when, when I had different stores and stuff, and we, you have to have salespeople, right? And this guy comes in, and you know, when I had my cell phone stores, and he says, um, uh, you should hire me because I can sell ice cubes to Eskimos. Have you heard that one before? I'm such a good salesman, I can sell ice cubes to Eskimos. And I, and I didn't hire the guy because a real salesperson will talk to you dis and, and will do what they call qualify you. In other words, is this something you could really use? Is this something that will benefit you? Okay, because if it's not, I don't want to spend time trying to sell ice cubes to Eskimos. Yeah, I guess it's possible, but it's way more work than somebody sitting by a pool with a warm drink who could use some ice cubes. You catch the difference? And real salespeople, professional salespeople, will will you know do their best to qualify and a real salesperson may say uh you know what th th this isn't right for you it isn't L let me suggest something that might be better we don't sell it but you know you can buy it here or whatever right and then move on to somebody who you can who <laughs> sandra oh man Oh, this fruitcake is right on. Oh, I'm glad you are enjoying it. Most people do. Yes, Andy, I have that one. Okay, now I forgot what I was talking about, Darlene. Have that one what? That fruitcake? <laughs> oh, we need a fruitcake. What do you think? Oh man, I gotta do that. We'll make we'll make a we'll make a, a fruitcake uh, trigger. Ha <laughs> ha! I know. <clears throat> My wife no likes shopping for cars or tech stuff with me because I do choke research and end up knowing more than the salesperson. I always end up correcting them when they try to lie to me. Yeah, yeah, and I know that one. I remember um, my daughter would not go into those big box stores. Remember when they like, like com remember Computer City and those kind of places? They used to have them here. They don't have them anymore because they don't work, right? Okay, this is going to be a little soap boxy. But what I didn't like about the big computer stores is, number one, they immediately put the little computer geeky stores run by guys who really, and gals, who really liked computers, right? With a bunch of people who were in a red shirt who were trained to upsell you, right? So I go in there because they put these other guys out of business. I'm looking for a 250 watt power supply for this computer I was building. And I say to the guy, do you have um, 250 watt power supplies? And you know, the basic configuration I gave him. His answer is, what you're building? I'm in a computer store. I'm looking for a power supply. So obviously I'm baking a cake. Okay, so um, again, do you have this power supply? Well, I mean, if I know what you're building, then maybe I can help you better. Oh, well, we could start with, do you sell? Two hundred, you know what I mean? And it was back and forth. Like, and I said, pal, do you sell them or don't you? Hey, I'm just trying to help you. No, you're not. You're trying to figure out what I'm doing so you can sell me a bunch of other stuff. Let's start with what I want. Uh, and it, it, and the, me and this guy getting into it, you know, me saying, stop it. And then have, the manager came in and I went to the office with the guy. And I said, listen, man, here's what's, here's what's wrong with this guy. You know, and the guy sold cars before this. He never even sold computer parts, but it was all about the upsell. Hey, over research a tech purchase. Me, ah, never. 
Well, now it, it, now there's more internet researches. When I was building these, uh, uh, and they were Windows boxes, you know, um, there, there wasn't a lot of the internet uh, stuff that they have now. You know, Amazon wasn't around any of that. Right? It's before I moved to Mac. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So let's take a look. What are you doing more of while you are staying home? Reading, 12%. Eating, uh, 21%, right? Cleaning, 9%. Sorting, sorting and cleaning are right there, tie tie. And of course, internet, 48%. Oh, look at that. The love when cover up the ha. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was a quick 10 minutes. I guess I was voila owing too much okay uh internet wins ladies and gentlemen eating is second <laughs> eating while on the internet should be probably a uh, third <laughs> reading 12 percent cleaning and sorting ah uh, there you go and thomas the turtle <laughs> contributed 1500 channel points so what you and you vote four times i guess huh that's right Oh, more eating on the internet. Yep, that's it. That's me right there. <laughs> I'm drinking coffee and, and, and going on the internet. Mm. If you, I don't know if you noticed my hemogen cup. My uh, daughter made me this. This, this is like a decal, and on the other side there's a pigeon. I know. I have this other cup too. My my wife gave me. Uh, it's a metal cup and it has a stand and you, I mean, and you plug it in and the, the stand heats up and keeps the coffee hot. And the cup is metal and kind of insulated on the outside and I might try that tomorrow, you know. But I, I don't mind sipping cold coffee. Is that bad? I don't know. Um, I didn't see, I didn't have... Uh, nothing on the poll. You didn't. Oh, you didn't have a nothing. What do you do more of? Nothing. Well, I think we all do something, right? It looks like screen printing. Yeah, I think it is. It's one. Of, we we bought the machine last year, and it, you make de decals, and you you put it on, and then you peel one side off. You peel one side off, stick it, and then peel the other side, and the, you know it's that double. I don't know. She likes that kind of crafting stuff. So, and uh, we gave it to her last year, so she she needed. In fact, see, it looks like this. I don't know. You you can't you can't really see this, but wait, hold on. Um, but this is this is what the raw decal looks like. Hold on. You see, it looks like that. This is a this is this is a big pigeon. It was too big for the cup, but uh, that's that's what it that's what it starts out looking like. Right, <clears throat> and then you, yeah. So she she gave me some extra ones. Peelers, <laughs> yeah. What are they doing all over my coffee cup? Peelers. Oh, oh, nice your cup. Cool. Yeah, and 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 it, um, and it and it really made my uh, daughter happy. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. <laughs> I do more sleeping and cooking and Facebook. Yeah. Dry transfer decal. Thank you for giving uh, us the actual name for it. Maybe seal it with clear spray. I don't know. I'm going, you know, I, I got a drink out of it and, and I haven't tried nuking it yet. What I do is I wash this and then if I want to heat something up like coffee or whatever but i don't because i'm afraid this will all melt and when i told her that she goes let it melt i can make another decal let's see but again tomorrow i think i'm going to try my uh stay warm cup we'll see okay <clears throat> oh my goodness uh i tell you what let's go to nuuanu and listen to that guy who uh was happy about finally getting over with a girl he broke up with I woke up this morning and put on a colorful robe. I 
Glad down the staircase, feeling as good as the sun is golden. Pour me some OJ in my tallest glass. Eggs over easy, 'cause I'm over you at last. I hear the news, paper boy. at this you guys how nice is this puppy cheney says hey i forgot to tell you that my daughter Kristen uh, copied the u of h video and the shout out you gave her and sent it to all, all her u of h friends and of course many of them knew who you are oh thank you so much yeah all the old ones <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I know. Some, you know, when you go to a school and when you're going through it, you don't realize it. And then when you go back, you think, man, these are some of the best days of my life, even though I stayed up late and crammed to make certain tests and whatever, you know. I know. Oh, well, that's so nice. I'm so glad uh, she dug that. Okay. Oh, there's foot tapping. Good. All right. Let's see. Let me get to the bottom of the chat before we go to the next poll. Dad joke. Dad joke. Guys, make your ladies feel special. Put up a framed picture of her in the kitchen and write employee of the month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. A, huh? What? No way. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, we need a cool oh yeah okay but well we had cool and we had fruitcake okay i gotta remember that <laughs> we're gonna make cool and we're gonna make fruitcake all right and then i'm gonna try to learn some other new toys we can add yeah 
Okay, which one is this? Is this the chicken? Okay, gang, are you ready for the chicken? That's right, poultry. And it is, <clears throat> what, what condition is your favorite footwear in? Okay, your favorite footwear. What condition are they in, right? Now, when I, and, and when I say footwear, anything could be anything from house slippers to, you know, rubber slippers to working boots, your favorite footwear. Okay, what condition are they in? Let's start that poll. Oh, and I think, oh, I forgot if, no, you, this one you can only guess one. Yeah, this is on only one guess kind, okay? What condition is your favorite footwear in? The choices are nice, well-worn, but respectable, all boss up, but intact, falling apart, but comfy. Whew, time for another resole. Okay, that would be me. And But you know what? Those, those ah, in fact, they're right here. This, these are my favorite boots right here. I have done the, the, the soles. See, these used to be real chunky, but look at this. Oh. Ah. But finally, they, it started wearing out right there where my toe is. My toe is starting to wear through there, so I have another new pair that, uh, you know, and I put them on, and it's just not the same. I wear these more than I wear my new ones. Oh, oh, hey, and we need one dolphin. Oh, yeah, okay, uh, uh, dolphin, cool, and uh, I'm going to write that down. Hold on, I, I will not remember this, okay? Hold on. Okay, uh, dolphin, uh, cool, and fruitcake. <laughs> okay, okay, oh, too crazy. Okay, my favorite rubber slippers, all boro boro, but oh, so comfortable, yeah. I remember my little brother, when he lived with me, he had these slippers he loved, and they were stink. You ever smell stink rubber slipper? I was like, bah, shoot him with the hose or something. You know, no, no, no. And he, we used to go surfing and he, in the car. It's like, brah, you know what? Finally, I just shot that bugger with the hose and some soap. I, like, I never did, I didn't know rubber slippers could get stink. You know, I mean, shoes and, you know, different things. You know, you've seen people when they get toe jam. Remember toe jams? How long, how long has it since, been since you heard, oh, brother, hey, me and hey, you toe jam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Vanilla, what's up? And, yeah, my fake 15-year-old. How are you? Doing all right today? Oh, hey. Kailana Honu. Hey, March 13th. To June 22nd, didn't work at my practice, but went to doctor's offices. Okay, sounds like a private conversation. Hey, no, because mostly I ride round and round. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Well-worn but respectable is doing very well in the poll. That's when they're just right, eh? Woo, I know. Ah, you, aloha, bro. Okay. Hey, how's it, Taz? That's from Aloha Smitty right there, I know. Yeah, what you, you're waiting for the next dad joke, eh? Aloha Smitty. Mean. I know. Hey, now look at Puppy Cheney saying hello to Vanilla. Good morning, soda. Oh, I like that soda. <laughs> Ah, oh, maybe you are having a good day. Oh, Papi Chini, hey, soda. <laughs> I like that. Hey, how come Winnie the Pooh doesn't wear shoes? Because he has bare feet. Ah, watch out. Oh, yeah. shot that bugger with the hose. <laughs> ah, I took him, I didn't want to do it. Because it was outside. I, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> put, put, you know, put the kind, you know, like uh, uh, dishwashing soap, like, you know, and let's just squirt them all over. <laughs> the thing all flying in the yard. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Hey, what you doing? It's not gonna be less comfortable. Just gonna be less stink. Hog oh, and fun it. I know. Good morning, Andy. And I am a Jane gang. Hi, Charles K. There's the couple right there. Uh, couple. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of your last name from my warped brain here. Kapuhao? Oh, cannot. That's all right. I know that there's the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, there's, they're both here, but. Okay. Uh, what does, what kind of shoes does a spy wear? Sneakers. What kind of shoes do mice wear? Squeakers. <laughs> it's funny that they used to call uh, tennis shoes, right? They started out calling them sneakers because they were quiet when you could walk. Huh? Sneakers. People still call them sneakers? I don't know. Nowadays, it's all about, you know, all kind. Oh, are those Jordans? Are those, you know, whatevers? And it costs money too, man. Man, you know, some of those, those uh, athletic shoes, you know, the branded ones from Nike and stuff, they're like 200 bucks. Like, what? I know. Maybe that's normal for shoes. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to buying boots. Huh? I know. Exactly. Who? Shoebetcha. Shoebetcha. Oh, yeah, I know. How about? I know. How <laughs> about, baby? I just, I don't know why. Oh, always get me. Oh, I stay good and cold. Okay, what? Well, well, Hey, well-worn and respectable is killing it, 47%. And and your favorite looks, and look at this, 24% of people, their favorite footwear is nice. What do you think? That's somebody's nice high heels or or somebody's meal, you know, oh, get, remember beetle boots? I don't know why that popped in my mind. I had beetle boots, you know, and they had the stretch on the you know, on the side so you could put them on and they were kind of tight. Oh, man, I take care of my beetle boots. I know. <clears throat> How many people had beetle boots? I know. Did I tell you um, someone sent me a picture? I mean, you know, we were talking about the Angel Flight days and uh, someone sent me a picture of that album cover of me wearing... I think they were angel flights. I'm not sure. <clears throat> you know, I just buy whatever my parents, I just wear whatever my parents buy me. Now I know you're not 15. <laughs> There's no, are you kidding? Teenagers now? I'm not wearing that. No way. So, so if we bought you a pair of beetle boots, you would wear those? <laughs> I do not think so. Oh, are you kidding? You'd be laughed out of school. <clears throat> ah! um, anyway, uh, do, do I have that handy? I'm gonna, I want to show you this picture. So embarrassing. Talk about embarrassing stuff. Um, okay, here. Uh, oh, I don't. Oh, here, here. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, I know. How embarrassing is that? Uh oh, now I gotta, I can't. Oh, now I can't take it off the screen. Oh, I gotta close all these things to take it off. Yeah, I guess I do. Oh, oh no. Hold on there. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at that. By the way, I have bare feet in that, of course, but I'm not sure if those were angel flights. I'm not, I don't think so. They were more jeansy, you know? Anyway. <laughs> it's funny. Maybe that would be a good poll, you know? Uh, you know? Or, or we should ask people to post pictures of uh, hairstyles they've had that embarrass them now. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, look at this. I have that record. Oh, my God. I don't. Oh, you're right, Andy. Teenagers tell you what they want to hear. 
I mean, what they want to wear. Who beetle boots with the zip side? Oh, oh, beetle boots are the best with the with thin socks. Yeah, you remember the beetle boots, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Darlene, that's why I was like, what? No, I don't think so. No. I, I, I hope those angel flights no have toe jam. No, no, toe jam was your, your toes, not, not your pants. <laughs> if, if they had toe jams, because someone would kick me in the Okole back then, which I would, by the way, probably deserve. Hey, on focus. Indina, Indinia. Oh, this is great. I think my tutu had this album. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, what are you wearing, Andy? What are you not listening? <laughs> yeah, that's why I need to move back to Hawaii. I'm good with $5 Raba slipper all the time. Yeah, go to Long's, boom. I told you last, was it oh, last Christmas? Oh, hey, hey, wait, let me finish the poll before it goes away. Well-worn but respectable, 50%. Nice, 21. Falling apart but comfy, 16%. All boss up but intact, 8%. Whew, time for another resole. Oh, it's only about 3%. It went away before I could get to it. Okay, there you go. But anyway, uh, last, I think it was last year, my wife bought me good Scott. I think they're Scott, you know, and they were like 40 bucks or something. I was going, what? She goes, you're always wearing slippers in the yard and around and you, you know, the rubber slip of boss. And, and guess what? A year later, still got them, still good. So I guess there's value in quality. Well, we knew that, but you know what I mean, huh? That kind, whoa. Okay, let me get to the bottom of the chat here. In Scotland, they called those beetle boots winky pickers because they had pointed toes like the pins that were used to pull the snails out of the little shells. Oh, winky pickers, yeah. That's, what, that, that's a country uh, western joke, right? Uh, why are cowboy boots pointed so you can kill cockroaches in the corner? <laughs> oh, maybe we can get uh, Brian to have Royal Canadian Mounted Police to conform the real age of, of, of uh, soda. Oh, that's funny. Nah, nah, nah. I like, I like calling him fake 15 year old. <laughs> Uh, but you know he I, I, and he could just be you know uh, uh, maybe an old soul because he certainly sounds like it to me like, like like the other day when when we were talking about uh, men and women handling uh, uh, tabs and he posted uh, I've been there man <laughs> it's like oh okay oh uh, uh, the last pair of reefs, maybe it's maybe maybe they're reef instead of Scott. I'm not sure. I gotta check. My last pair of reef slippers I just replaced were like six years old. Exactly, these things and and a clean yard in them is mostly what I do with the weed whacker, which I should probably have hard shoes on for. Anyway, huh, okay. Let's let's take a slow cruise, uh, some somewhat romantic through Kahala. Every day with you is magic Every kiss is better than the last It's a home I've never known A place I know will last For a lifetime 
of I love you. cracking me up oh um I, I, it was way up there so i'm not going to go back and look but I, I uh that suggestion about a uh it would be a good poll what do you blame your dog for ah, we got to figure out a way to uh include cats and birds and other things so nobody feels left out but man what do you believe what do you blame your dog for you know we we do this thing in our house that um we we um 
never feed the dog from the table or when we're eating we ask people who are eating uh, visitors when we had them not to give the dog any food so when people are eating they don't expect it they'll lay right there and just not even bother anyone when they're eating and certainly not go in the garbage or go in the things we make that when when they're real small we figure that one out so um you know and someone says oh good don't you want to give your dog a little piece of and i said you know what um they're actually happier if you don't because if you do, then they expect it and they're sitting there and they're, uh, 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 you know, the whole time you're eating and suffering where nor now they just lay there and they sleep and they're not, they don't have the expectation, you know. That's what they say, right? There's no, there's no bad pets, just bad owners. I know. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, Yosh, aloha, mahalo for stopping by, you bugger. Yeah, we almost pow. And uh, remember now, we're going to raid OG Sumo Vibe after this. Uh, he's going to have some Jawaiian jams for us. And we're going to go check that out. Whew. We do the same, Uncle. No feed the puppies. Yeah, bro, but your puppies. I mean, think about your dogs if they wanted to take food from somebody. Right? So, um, yeah, that's how. Blame dog, only one answer. <clears throat> Everything. <laughs> Who, hey, what, Rick? Oh, what, the dog, bah. I know that one. <laughs> yup, same here, no feed the dogs at the table. You know, they're happier, you know. And I told you, you know, my little Kinako who comes up here once in a while, right? When she feels like it, right? I, I told you about this about her. She does not want to leave the yard. We can't get her to do it. You know, my other dog loves to walk. We try to walk a Kinako. We go 10 feet. She just stares at the yard like this. Just, and does not, you unleash your frum, too. Oh, okay, I'm back in the yard. I know, how cool is that? Oh, I know. Cool. Hey, good morning, Kenny in Kihei. What? Kenny went show face. I missed that. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, no worry, Beef Curry. We see the K. You cool, bro. I know Saturday night is a big night for you buggers who work entertainment. Huh? You nightclub buggers. What is that like? Oh, my goodness. Standing on a stage in front of a live audience. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is just for you. <laughs> Mahalo, Kenny. Okay. <laughs> okay, last poll, gang. Let's see what we have. Okay, the last poll is, <clears throat> which do you drink daily? Okay, not daily. And this one, you can um, choose more than one. But what do you drink daily? Now, I apologize. I only have five choices, so I did my best. But we're going to start the poll. It's at the top of the chat. And you can pick more than one. What do you drink daily? Water, juice, milk, coffee, or alcohol? Now, I could have put whiskey, and I left out tea. And uh, I, I should have put tea, coffee. Okay, but if you drink tea, just choose coffee, okay? Because, you know, it's a, um, I didn't have room, like I said, okay? What do you drink daily and you can pick more than one? No table food, always car rides with windows down, dog's favorite pastime. Oh man, they get those lips. <laughs> that, 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 that's a biker joke, uh, Aloha Mish, you know? Only dogs who like to stick their heads out the window understand why bikers enjoy motorcycles. <laughs> Liquids. Oh, yeah, that's, um, that's what you drink. Okay, that's good. It's so hard to drink solids. I have tried, I promise you that. Coffee all the way. Yes, but you, you, uh, you, I'm sure you don't only drink coffee, right? Every day, do you only, you know, what do you um, drink, right? Maybe Kinako is part homing pigeon. I am so happy. I remember my uh, my my dog who 
recently passed away. Uh, when she was young, you opened that door. I had a bicycle in my uh, garage ready because when if she ever got out, you can't chase her. So I would run to the garage, jump on the bike, and catch her. And then I'd get in front of her and, hey! And then she'd go, ugh, busted. And she'd turn around and I'd ride my bicycle behind her and herd her home. You know, she was cool, though. She didn't run past me and keep going. It was like a game after a while. And then when she got older, she stopped doing it. I know. And I remember like, you notice Kiki isn't bolting out the door anymore? She'd just stand up and go, ah, you gonna catch me. <laughs> just lay back down. Oh, dogs are so cool, you know. I, I, I don't know if cats do that. I'm not a cat person. My brother had a cat, and I used to say, this is not a cat. This is a fake cat. This thing's like a dog. You call him, he's Jeremy Jackson. He was very cool. The coolest cat I ever saw. And then when I was uh, listening to Shakalaka on OG Sumo Vibes channel talking about, uh, or was it on I Am Richard? Um, anyway, she was talking about the, the personalities of different types of cats. I found that really interesting. I know. Water, cause <clears throat> R uh, made me dehydrated. Oh, I don't know what that R da -da 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 is and still am, I guess. Oh, oh yeah. I hope water wins. It's my favorite. Well, so, uh, so far, 49%. Uh, oh, which reminds me. Oh, I filled up my, uh, my water and I forgot to bring it in. You know, that little jug I've been drinking. It's harder. It's hard to drink eight glasses of water every day. I can't tell you. Sometimes I completely forget. And then I got to catch up. Oh, my goodness. But I'm drinking more water. Yep. Grape juice and water mix sometimes water by itself oh i know it's so funny big squirrel nuts that you would say that i hope water wins it's my favorite it should be everyone's favorite you know but we have so many other choices all but the alcohol now okay look at this alcohol um is at three percent it's the lowest choice you know it's under milk i know Ah, that really surprises me. You know, they say, what? What is it, two or was it three glasses of wine a day is actually good for you? I know. I get my water from the coffee. Ah! You know what, Howley Boy? I used to think the same thing until one time I, I, I wasn't drinking enough water and I thought I was having, uh, what they, what do they call that? Um, you know, where, um, uh, where, where you get the spins, um... I forget. Anyway, so I went to the doctor because I was like having this vertigo, right? I thought I was having vertigo. And I went to the doctor and he, and he, and he determined, you're not drinking water. I said, well, I drink coffee all the time. And he says, coffee dehydrates you. Every, if you have a glass of water, you drink a cup of coffee, they negate each other. What? I know. as he takes a sip of coffee, espresso. Well, that would have been in the coffee category. Yeah, oh, I love espresso. I wish it was easier to make. You know, can you imagine how cool it would look to have a espresso machine right? Hey, hi everybody, just having a little espresso, you know, but the cleaning and the whole deal. I almost put that coffee maker that my wife gave me here but then I knew there would be a time where I would spill the water or the, you know, or the grounds or something in this area. And, you know, computer geeks, do I, oh, okay, hey, OJ, see you on the other side. Yeah, we'll be over there very soon. What time we got? Okay, we'll be there in, um, uh, after this poll and uh, one more song, which is another, I don't know, three minutes. So, in yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay. Uh, or maybe we'll just go after the poll. We'll, we'll let the Hamajang gang decide. We're gonna go raid OG Sumo uh, vibe after this. Nobody owning up to boozing it up every day, huh? <laughs> Nobody is. I know. I, th that surprises me. 
that the lowest consumption is alcohol? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. My wife drinks every single day. You know, as I think, my, uh, does my daughter? I don't think so. But my wife has, uh, you know, a glass of wine or, and I, I don't know how she does this, half a beer. She will open a beer and, you know, and like, you know, at dinner or maybe we're sitting around in the evening. It's always in the evening. And she would drink it and she'd get like, oh, ah, and then, you know, put it in the, and then it gets flat and she'll end up throwing it away. But who drinks half a beer? I'm like, I, when I was drinking, I, I, I couldn't drink half a six pack. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I have one drink game on i know i never had a problem take your time i'll be chilling okay um i never had a problem with alcohol in fact i, I i'm sorry i forgot who sent me a um a message and they said how did you get sober and you know and i i didn't quit drinking because i had a problem with drinking I love to drink. My wife and I, when we used to like yeehaw back in the day, and again, we met in our 20s, right? My, my wife and I, um, phew, we used to go dance clubs every night. Phew, had a great time. Never wrecked a car, never hurt ourselves or anybody else. I quit because of my asthma. Yeah. <clears throat> my doctor says, eh, your medications, no alcohol. Habot. Oh, I, uh, alcohol does not agree with many um, medications. I am a lightweight for real. Not good for me. Oh, okay. Oh, chill. Oh, that's another good one. Chill. I'm, I'm, I'm writing down uh, all the suggestions here. I'm going to put down chill now for the, uh, for the ombucha emotes there. Chill. So we have, uh, we have uh, dolphin. Cool, fruitcake, hamajang, and chill. Those are the ones um, I'm gonna see if I can work on. I know, photo look. Yeah, me too. Sandra Kalihi. Oh no, not half a beer. Oh, the hops. <laughs> oh no, the hops. Oh, that's too funny funny ricky exactly you know and she does this thing too and like when she's eating she'll leave like what would really amount for me as half a bite just i mean a little piece of bread or a tiny piece of meat or you know two pieces of carrot or something ah, i'm full and we're not throwing away food and of course then i'm washing the dishes <laughs> Oh, and then, uh, it's funny, if you grew up and, and ever, you know, uh, didn't have much food, it's hard to throw away food. I still have that problem today. I cannot, you know, save them. We're going to make fried rice. <laughs> I know. Oh, don't forget BBDs. Oh, I don't know. Do you show me? Show me? Well, I'll, I'll put it down. I don't know if I can... Uh... <laughs> Oh, that's funny, you guys. DVDs. But but what we you know what, what I'm trying to do with those uh those those bombucha emotes is is make them so they were they're like exclamation points. Hey, Frozen Surf Society. How's it, brother? Thanks for being here. Appreciate the wellness check. Thanks, uh. Hey, hang out if uh, you're um. We're gonna go to we're gonna raid OG Sumo Vibes uh, channel after this. Uh, okay, there's the poll, gang. Water one, yay! Big squirrel nuts. You must be happy. Fifty percent people drink water every day. Coffee, thirty percent every day. Juice, ten percent. Milk, seven percent. And then I never read fast enough, and the rest was you know, like three percent. There we go. Oh, no BBDs. No, I don't think so. To, to me, the uh, the BBDs is like uh, it 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 represents um, um, when you're uh, you know open about something. I'm I'm, I'm losing the word. Um, 
Hey, how's it? Frozen Surf Society. That's from Kualoha right there. I know. Re when you're revealing about something, it's, it's sort of TMI, I guess the kids would say. Your wife, Andy, oh, she's cute. Yeah, she's definitely cute. <laughs> I, I showed you, this is a picture of her. This was a license uh, uh, picture of her from, from like way back in the day, you know. I mean, you know, this is, this is what she uh, looked like, I would guess. Uh, this is probably 10 years old. You know, yeah, and it was she. She had this. She goes, oh, I got to get a new license. I said, let me have that license. That is the best license plate, license picture I ever saw in my life. But then I could be prejudiced. You know, <laughs> I know. Oh, getting your vitamin C, Kenny. Oh, okay, and lots of water. What What are you doing? Who oh, screwdriver with a splash of cranberry every day? There you go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, hey, Wolfie. Hey, where you went? <laughs> I know. Uh, Andy, my mom, German, taught me don't waste anything. Yeah, my mom's German. Maybe that's where it came from too. But you know, again, we were German, and there were times when it was like, is this? Is this? That's all we have, and you know, you're luck. And I mean, what was the line? We're lucky we have anything. Many people have nothing. Oh, okay. I know. That's why when I, you know, when I hear about, you know, people right now who are worrying about, um, you know, people, adults who are hungry, I go, well, you know, yeah, you, you'll figure something out. But kids that are hungry, you know, I know. Andy, ha, on top of putting up with you, she's hot too. How's that? <laughs> well, hey, I promise you, back in uh, our 20s, uh, I told you that story. Okay, this is the, this is the cutest story ever. Uh, we were in Los Angeles, and uh, she came to visit from Hawaii, right? So she's wearing her little shorts and her little tank top, and her hair is down to her waist, and she's just hotter than a firecracker, and we're walking down the street, and there was a construction guy digging a hole, right? And he, now he's at this level, and he's looking up. He's watching us in the sidewalk, right? And I see him checking her out, and I'm thinking, oh, no, this guy's going to say something, and I got to, you know, be the boyfriend and all that, right? And what he does is he looks up. My wife looks at him. She was my girlfriend at the time. He looks at her like this, and he takes off his hard hat, puts it down, takes the shovel, and hits himself in the head with it. I mean, think about that. He goes, Bang! and then he goes like this to her, puts his hat back on and starts shoveling. I thought, oh my God, I just lost my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, but she turns to me and she says, oh, wasn't that cute? Well played, my brother. Oh, I know. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, you know, she's very introverted. And, you know, and that's I, that's what really appealed to me, you know. I mean, when, when I, I met her when I owned a nightclub, right? So, you know, her and her best friend came in one day and I went, Bling! right? And it was one of those deals. Um, and... Whenever she came in, her and her friend, which was uh, her best friend at the time, just another stunning beauty, they would, there would be like this herd of guys following her around. It was amazing. So, But she was just very humble and, yeah. Shovel! <laughs> Bing! And it made that noise, too, that bing! It's like something out of a movie. Oh, opposites attract. Yeah, I think so. And her dad was very well known here in Hawaii and stuff, so she understood, um, you know, public uh, life and being in the paper and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I, I think that had a lot to do with it, too. You know, and you got her. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it wasn't easy uh, either, you know. I'm, I'm serious, you know. And, and everybody, and, uh, 
Ah, anyway, I don't want to start talking about all that stuff. Okay, so hey, guess what? We're at the bottom of the hour. Um, what say we raid OG Sumo Vibe, okay? So here, I'm going to set it up. R-A-I-D. No, R R A I D raid um O G Sumo Vibe. Now here's what happens. When I hit when I hit raid on the top, you have the option to leave or not. But uh let's go there and dig some Jawaiian music. So thank you so much for being here, everybody. Really appreciate it. Um, we're here every morning at 6 a.m. on Twitch, and Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, we are on YouTube and Facebook, and that's both Hawaiian time, okay? So you know. So uh, that's how we do it. Hey, aloha, Andy Bumatai. Thanks for this morning. See you again. I hope so. Short time nightclub. Who lifetime of results. Oh, yeah. No, we spent a lot of time in nightclubs, I promise you that. Okay, have a great Sunday, everybody. Okay, we go right on. Okay, I'm clicking. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, here we go. Okay, 39, 39, 39 41 people are, are going. 43 people, 42. Ooh, somebody said leave. Okay, 40 thing. Okay, here we go, gang. Mahalo. Aloha. <laughs>